So here we are just marking out the slab. So it's always important just to flick out all the external walls and internal walls before you start. Nice bit of chalk by in there. So you just come in 90 mil all around the perimeter, mark it all out, and basically you're just drawing that outline of where all the frames are going. So now we've got all the, the slab marked out and start standing the frames. First of all, we're just putting the damp proof course down. So this just stops any reaction between the steel and the concrete. Um, just a PVC membrane, really quick and easy to put down. So this just goes on the external walls. This is how you put the tensioners on. Uh, this will just straighten up the, the walls, stop them from raking. Uh, so these are just strap bracings. So it's easy just going around from the, the hole in the strapping first. And then grab on these little saddles. Cut off the inside of the wall. Move them inside and then just throw it up. And you see it goes nice and tight. Uh, once all these are tight, you're going to go back and just put a, a little silver screw in each one of these points where it hits a stud or a brace. Just those little hand head screws. So now they've got the floor system all in place, they've started getting the frames up here. Um, it's quite a long way up, so they're using a forklift just to get them in place. But they'll get all these uh, perimeter ones up first, and you can see they're already cut out with all the doors and windows ready to go. Um, it's already marked out, so it's always important to mark out the, the slab or the floor system. You can see where they've got, we've just come in 90 mil here, which is the, the width of the frame. And you can see here, this is obviously where one of the internal walls goes. So uh, by doing that, you can uh, get a good picture of how everything's going to be set out. This here's a, a set out plan. You know, there's only a few rooms on this place, but it um, goes like that. All the external walls and then internal walls go there. View design which is built at uh, Baronia Heights in, um, in Brisbane. Uh, this one's a house that's getting built for one of our designers actually so something a little bit different it's using about eight different claddings on the outside so it's got a rake ceiling it's got some nice high walls something a little bit more interesting it's just got a single garage so it's not a not a large house but it's got a lot of you know quirky little features to it which makes it very interesting. Uh, there's only about one day of work so far on getting the frames up. They've got about another day of work getting the, the decking out here and the bearers and joists. Uh, and, you know, big highlight windows up here, a little of the light in. So it's um, certainly not the easiest house to build, but it's going to have a lot of nice features to it. <laughs> 